my special YT family and my Northern Ghana lovers. You guys are welcome to this video. Thanks for joining me today. And today I am taking you with me on a ride and to where in the Upper West region. We are going straight to the Simon D. Dong Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. And other people also refer to it as UDS WA Campus. So grab a glass of chilled Coke, grab a popcorn, and let's take a ride to the school. So it was one hot afternoon that my friends and I took a tour to the university and I said, hey, let me film. People don't know the Upper West region and would love to see a big school like this here. So I must also see that some part of the school is also under construction. So we'll be seeing a lot of uncompleted building here and there. But I love the campus in general. It has everything one needs for one to learn well. It has everything. Their roads are good. They have all the amenities needed for one to study. So if you are a, if you are a graduate or if you are an SHS leaver, I think you can apply to the school. So the first the first place I saw here was their post office and it's closer to the road it's closer to the the entrance to which the entrance is also by the kumase Accra wa main road so from there we took a stroll straight up and then um, we saw all these uncompleted buildings and i think they are hostels still under construction the way they are mainly and clustered together, wow. When they complete, I think it's going to be a beautiful one. Looking so good. So from the main road in the school, we branched on our left. And there we saw some other uncompleted buildings. From the same hostels, I guess. So to my right, there's this big hall at the extreme end, which is also under construction. I think it's going to be a meeting hall. That's what you can just see over there. It's a big hall. Next to it is the Faculty of Integrated Development Studies. So I could see that that particular faculty or the building, the building for the faculty was in, is it a metal? I don't know how to describe it, but it's not made of sand or stones. And it's very beautiful, very, very beautiful, very convenient, as you can see in the clip. They have lots of lands, vast lands. So let's move straight to checking their halls where people attend classes. And this is the first hall I came across. This is hall one. Hall one, and this is how it looks like. It's nice. You can see that the painting has been done for a long time. So the lower part of the painting was coming off here i was trying to get a video of the inside how it looked like and the out view of the whole building i could see some air conditions and things outside wow this is nice this is nice beautiful okay so i couldn't go in there because there was a lecture going on and um the those bikes are for some of the people okay so there was this pathway between there is this pathway between hall one and hall two 
and this is what you can see so fast forward i went to hall two this is what it also looks like it's just the same copy as the whole one the same copy as the whole one okay so here i went to yes and this is the pathway linking the whole one to the whole two fast forward i went to the washrooms to take a look at how the washrooms are okay and they look a little bit old but it has everything in fact we can't complain it has everything as you can take a look at the bathroom you can take a look at the tap yes the toilet facility the lavatory you can see everything from there okay so these are summer hats at the back of all two and now let's let's take a look at how inside hall two is okay. hall two is also the department of economics and entrepreneurship development so I think this is the head of department office. So now let's enter hall two and take a look at how the hall is. Wow, this is beautiful. This looks like almost 200 to 300 seater capacity hall. It can accommodate almost, almost half of the students over there. I don't know the number of students in the school, but the hall is very big look at the chairs everything ready for students to study and i can see they have a projector and a speaker it will make it difficult for the lecturer to communicate with the students this is beautiful wow so let's take a look at the registry too this is their main registry i must make mention that it was on a saturday we went there so most students were not on campus and the registry was not working either but this is the main registry and at the back of the registry too i think there's a summer hut or another hall there that's also under construction so this is how it also looks like wow i can't tell whether it's going to be an office or not so fast forward let's take a look at hall 3 and this is how hall 3 looks like this is the back of hall 3 and there was also another lecture going on it, with the hall 3 it's been divided to a b and c so with the a the a was empty the b there was a lecture going on at the hall 3 b and um, the hall c were empty i met some students who were studying preparing for their examination so let's take a look at hall c or 3c and this is how it looks like it's not so big it's divided so that other lectures or other lectures can go on while the other places are having classes not in tower and this is the front view of hall 3 yeah. just along their main street so this is hall 3 c that was the empty class yes and the other house okay so there is going to be a continuation of this particular vlog i'm bringing part two where we'll take a look at the other parts of the school too so please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like share this video let others also get to know what the north has i'm very proud of this school they are doing very well though they lack certain things if some ngos can come to their aid the school can do better the government cannot bear it alone so if you know of any organization that wishes to help you can just um contact the school if you go online get their contact then you try and help us so this is how the place looks like the sun in the north is very hot <laughs> it's not funny at all 
and these are my crew my team i came with wow they also have some i have to make mention that they also have these seats in front of all these that you can rest upon so let me also go and rest you're <laughs> not rest baby girl rest okay so till then i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.